It's vlog time. I haven't vlogged for like three weeks, but today's the day again. Bed unmade. Cat sleeping. Birthday last week. Um, I turned 29. I used to think I'd be scared about getting older. I thought that until I turned 27 and then 27 was amazing, 28 was amazing. So I have high hopes for 29. Growing older is actually a lot of fun. I thought I would hate it, but I love it. I'm planning on putting four thingies of vinyl like up there and I'm gonna put a small little table there for my cute little, you know, turntable. And yeah, I'm gonna do that probably like next week or something, but I haven't vlogged for three weeks, I think, but nothing's been going on. I've, it's been Ramadan, so there hasn't been anything exciting in terms of like going out and stuff. For Ramadan, I prefer being with my family and friends and I don't like going to like events and things like that. Besides that, I'm just working. I have been kind of redoing my room. Let me, let me show you, hold on. I kind of redid this area. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna frame this young blood uh, vinyl. It's autographed. I love him. And then I have my autographed uh, Machine Gun Kelly CD as well. These two I'm keeping there. I just need to frame that. And then here I'm gonna put my autographed Sabrina Carpenter one. This is the one. So this is gonna go somewhere here in the back like that. I'm not a massive vinyl girl. I only have a few, but I just like them in terms of just what it looks like and i have a record player as well but i don't know where it is right now i'm more of a cd person this is all my cds <laughs> I don't want to be carrying like coming this big and I can't even look. Thanks. Okay. Is this okay? Oh wow. Okay. She's a mom. <laughs> hey. Let's hope he keeps it. That's the first one I got right. Jenaina's. Thank you. Yes. My audition. Um, okay. Yeah. Source. Yeah. Fab. Fab. And then mine. Mm. Mm hmm. Why mm -hmm. voices? Like Yours has um, a personality. <laughs> Do you remember the movie Idol Her mother died when she was 580 days old. Momoto in the south of Japan. We get it delivered two to three times a week, so it's always as fresh as possible. We just slightly here to get some seasoning in, and then we serve it with three sauces. I moved my piano into my room. I have been playing piano since since I was like ten. I used to do the whole thing. I did the AVR set exams, Trinity exams, uh, theory, and all of it. And then I stopped in grade eight because. I hated it. I was so over it. I didn't like practicing. If you played piano as a kid, you know what I mean by like having to sit at your piano for like an hour and practice. No way. I did it for like 10 minutes and then I would get frustrated and I would get angry and I would lose my patience and then I never wanted to practice again. So at some point I quit at grade eight, which in the music world is like your final grade and no rag rats, I'm good. However, since I moved my piano into my room, it's making me want to practice more. And I don't know, a part of me was like, do I want to finish grade eight? Who knows? Who knows? It's just a thought for now, but it is making me want to practice. So I'm going to get it tuned probably next week or the week after. I don't know, but girl, it needs tuning. It is so bad. Let me show you. Literally a C chord. It doesn't sound like a C chord. So that's that with piano. And I'm gonna get ready now to go to yoga. I used to not like yoga because it's so slow paced for me and 
I don't like being in like one pose for a really long time. However, I started doing Hatha yoga and it's a lot more fast paced and like focuses on your strength a lot, which I'm enjoying. And I'm excited to continue. It's making me feel good. And I have a lot of issues with my body. Um, I have like a groin issue, I have a hip issue. It's, it's helping, it's fixing it. And I have tendonitis. I have tendonitis on my wrists and on my ankles. So this whole thing is very interesting, but it does hurt a little bit, but it is helping. I feel like it's strengthening all my muscles. Also, I'm getting an allergic reaction under my nostrils. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think I started using a new eye cream and then Every time I would use it, I would also like tap it down here. And I think that's what it's reacting to. So eye cream is for your eyes, not for your nose. Before I go to yoga, I need to just finish up something for work. I'm going to give myself 10 minutes until I start getting ready. So let's focus. That was tiring. <laughs> So I have YouTube in my ear. Um, I was in the bathroom for like the past 15 minutes doing hair care. I put coconut oil, castor oil, and this marine deep moisturizer sample that I have from La Lumiere. Um, and yeah, my mission is to try to revive my hair. It's RIP, honestly, my hair, it's dead. It is, uh, it's just not giving what I want it to give. Some days it does. Some days it's like super healthy looking and like ready for life. But other days like today, it's just like crusty, musty and just not it. Um, so I just did that and I put my hair in a bun. Oh, ponytail. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put a, Later before I go to sleep, I'm gonna put it in like a shower cap or something and go to sleep. But my mission is to bring back my hair. And on the hair topic, if anyone knows how to stop white hair from growing like crazy, let me know. I have been, at least you see that, looks like a bald spot, but it's white hair. I've had a white hair growing since I was like 20 or 21. I remember my first white hair, I swear, I swear I was like 17 and it was like an eyebrow hair. But yeah, I've had white hair for so long and I have to dye my hair every three weeks. And a lot of people go like, oh, you probably have like two white hairs and you're being dramatic. No girl, no. I probably have more white hair than like a grandmother. Like I have so much white hair, it is insane. And I don't know what the reason is. I can't even say it's genetics cause like, my parents didn't get it this early on, not that I know of. It's not like the biggest issue in the world, but it is annoying having to like dye your hair every three weeks and I have like eczema on my scalp. So then I don't think dyeing my roots plus eczema is like the cutest thing in the world. And also it's just really annoying and tiring. And like when white hair grows, like my confidence goes down. So trying to figure that out. If you know, help me. If not, cool also um a lot of people have been telling me to just like rock it to just like wear the white hair and just let it be and like grow it out i've tried that i've done that i thought it looked cute for a second but then i realized it really it just it's just not my vibe it doesn't look good on me anyway i'm gonna show you my little setup um for when i'm having like chill nights like this by myself in my room and let's go you see what i'm talking about right so this is the little setup it's just candle and youtube and that's it i have my sunset lamp and yeah i'm just chilling hello it is hello it is thursday and i'm heading to yoga and i'm late but just wanted to give an update and then i'm gonna go buy hair dye because of the roots I'm gonna do that today and then i have so much work even though today is technically a public holiday i have a lot to do because we have like a big event happening next week so i have to like prepare a lot of things for that um yeah anyway bye it's a few days later uh my roots are done 
my nails are done and I think that's it. I need to pack. I'm going to Abu Dhabi again tomorrow. I feel like my last, was it the last vlog or the one before that that I was in Abu Dhabi as well? This time is not for just a night. I'm going for, I think either five or six nights. Um, work related, there's a festival, there's gonna be really cool opportunities and a lot of things going on, but I need to pack. I haven't done anything. I don't know what I'm taking. I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know anything. Um, so I need to pack and I'm just finishing up some work. I have a headache because I wasn't wearing my glasses. So wear your glasses, kids. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit more work, get that done and then start not packing, but at least start looking at what I wanna pack and then make a to-do list. Um, but yeah, let's work first, okay? Wear your glasses and work. Okay, work is done. Now I'm gonna start packing, not packing. I'm gonna start going through everything that I need. So I'm gonna probably divide by the days that I'm gonna be there, what's happening on each day, what I need for each day, blah, blah, blah. And then start packing that way. Um, I need to put my skincare, makeup, clothes, shoes, electronics, some other things, I don't know. But I'm gonna go through that now. And in the background, I'm listening to the Wonder album by Shawn Mendes. It's one of my favorite albums and it's very underrated. So let's go. Changing the mood. I was a little cranky, but I'm okay now. Let's go. Glasses back on. It's almost 4 a.m. I think it's like 3.45, but done. things happen we made it we made it we're fine this is the room she's she's quite big actually for one person but this is the room this is where i'll be working a lot of the time during the day as well and then i have a cute little balcony Ugh. get out it's the water we go i can't get out so that's that's the tea now I'm just gonna set up my little workstation because I have stuff to do, but we made it. Oh, let me explain what happened. So I was driving and I was talking to my mom on the phone and I was complaining about my AC saying it's not- Sorry, I didn't understand that. Because I wasn't talking to you, Carl. Um, I was telling my mom that my AC was being weird and it wasn't cooling up the car that much and I don't have tints, so the heat was coming in extra. But anyway, it felt quite hot. And then it, I also felt like it was making like a weird noise. Then as soon as I hung up, I heard a noise from outside. I was like, is that my car? And then I hear it. I pull down my window, turn off the music. And I'm like, shit, I think that's my car. And luckily right next to me was a petrol station. So I went in, I asked them to check my tires and one of them had a massive tear on it. So I had to change my tire. And then I continued driving here. And then that's it. It wasn't that dramatic, but it was just like good timing. So that's that. I don't know why I'm out of breath but i'm gonna do some work now i already connected to youtube and i maybe here is a good setup so yeah that's the tea my luggage is here bye this is giving very vintage um i don't remember the last time i used a straightener for my hair and I also don't remember the last time I saw myself in this camera in the viewfinder. Girl. But I unpacked. I put everything in my closet and my suitcases are now empty. I'll show you what it looks like. But I think I'm like borderline grumpy. I got my period yesterday and I don't like going out. I don't like leaving my house when I'm on my period because... I don't know, I don't want to like be around people and stuff like that. I just kind of like getting into like my little shell and being by myself or just like being at home with friends or whatever. But I just don't like going out and I've always tried to avoid it. Also, I just realized what I was doing looked like it was so stupid, but it, it works. Okay. Um, but yeah, and so the fact that I have like an event is really me doing the most on my period and yeah it's just like my brain's not there you know 
but it's just a lot of things that comes with it so when i'm on my period i don't like going out at least for like the first three days i don't enjoy it i don't want to be out of my house and then also i feel or not i feel i get really really bloated when i'm on my period um it's like bloating from everywhere like i get bloated on like my stomach my legs my face my arms like everything's just so bloated so then obviously the clothes that i have the clothes that i own fit my natural body so then when it when i'm bloated it doesn't fit really nicely and uh it's just been making me really cranky um but yesterday when i was packing i was trying on the clothes that i was packing and i was just like girl this is not it but we're human it's, it is what it is but it's so interesting because when i see other people who get their periods um i don't know if they're on their period or not so then i'm like is it that they don't get as bloated as i am or is it just because like we are so aware of our bodies that we see the bloat more than someone else sees it you know what i mean and like there's nothing wrong with the bloat it's just that like it annoys me that like my clothes don't fit the way that they do you get me and obviously when my clothes don't fit right uh i'm self-conscious so i just don't want this to be a weekend of me feeling self-conscious at all because one i have a lot to do work-wise and two it's gonna be a lot of fun and i want to make sure i have fun so i don't know let's see how it goes but that's just a little a little is it a rant yeah sure it's a little rant so that's that and then i'm just gonna put my hair back i just wanted to like fix the front pieces because i for i brought my hair dryer but i forgot the rolly rolly rolling brush the circle brush i completely forgot to pack that and that's what i used to like fix the front of my hair today is just whatever i'm just gonna go check out the venue and stuff but i think for the other days i need to figure out how to do it because i haven't used this in so long also she's like she's like crusty but downsizing thing something like makeup is one of the best feelings in the world because you really don't need i mean i don't need not that you don't need it whoever everyone has like a different amount that they use anyway but i personally don't need that much makeup and yeah, now I have like the necessities and I have products that I never knew I loved until um, I was lucky enough to get them sent to me and now I'm obsessed. Like this Chanel Le Beige uh, blush is crazy and I've used so much of it. Oh, well, you can't see. And I've used so much of it already and it's like one of my favorite blushes right now. That and the Charlotte Tilbury one, obviously. And I just, I'm a Benetton girl for life as well. But these three blushes are like my favorites. Oh, and I love the, the nude sticks one. And I generally use all of them, like all the time. I just alternate between them depending on what is in front of me and what I'm in the mood for. I definitely have to have a look at my makeup in the bathroom mirror before I go because there's a lot of like shadows and stuff on my face so i can't really tell what i'm doing but i'm just going according to how i do my makeup on a daily the rare beauty uh highlight is so good this is in the shade mesmerize literally i just that's it girl you don't need to actually do much more than that but yeah it's so good selena girl i love you I think that's it. I'm not going to put mascara because I don't know. I don't like putting mascara when I don't need to put it. You know what I mean? Like it's my favorite part of my makeup, but it's okay. I don't need it right now. Recently, I can't leave my house without this. Um, this is the, I think it's, is it Urban Decay? Yeah, it's Urban Decay. It's called Texum. This, they say it lasts like 24 hours. Girl, no, it lasts until you wash it off. Literally, sometimes I go to sleep with it on. We all do it sometimes. And I wake up still on my lips. But I use it more for lining my lips. Okay, so that's that. And then for funsies, 
we can add a little sparkle. This is the Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Lip Gloss. And that's it. I don't want to do anything else. Um, I'm using the Pixie Makeup Fixing Setting Spray. That was way too close to my face. And that's it for my makeup. We rolling? Yo, yo, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Dave East. <laughs>